Should the Yankees let Aaron Judge walk? You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. I've seen your comments from past Aaron Judge videos. I honestly found them very interesting and honestly shocking that a lot of you want the Yankees to just let them go. They don't, you don't want us. You don't want the Yankees to invest that kind of money in Mr. Judge. And I think it's kind of crazy and nutty that a player, a homegrown Yankee too, by the way, that a player that's coming off of a 62 home run season, breaking the American League record, yes, but breaking the single season Yankee record, home run record, bidding for the Triple Crown, I think it's a bit nutty that we're talking about just, hey, go away, we don't want you. And I don't, and, and, and I don't blame, I don't blame Yankee fans feeling this way. I don't blame you feeling this way because of how the ownership is handling everything. This ownership is essentially showing us that they they kind of don't want to spend all that much money. Yeah, we spent a lot of money in Garrett Cole. Yeah, we acquired Giancarlo Stanton. But other than that, when a big high-profile free agent hits the market besides Cole... We didn't get Harper, which he would have been a match made in heaven over there at Yankee Stadium. We didn't get Machado. Both of those guys wanted to be Yankees, and for whatever reason, the interest on the Yankee side just wasn't there. So I totally understand if you want Aaron Judge to walk because of how much money he's going to cost, and you might feel because of this current Yankee ownership that... If they sign Judge, that they won't do anything else. So I get it. I understand why you don't want to retain Judge, why you don't want to sign him to that monster contract. Now, as far as his performance goes, Aaron Judge is a freak. He's been pretty healthy the past two seasons. What, 2021, I think he had COVID that made him miss some time. But he's been healthy the past two years, 39 home runs, then 62 the following year. And even previous years, his second and third year in major leagues, he had 27 home runs in both of those years, and he was hurt those years. So even when he's hurt, when he misses 40 to 50, even 60 games, he, he could still hit you close to 30 home runs. But yeah, I know. We need him throughout the whole season. I'm just saying that Judge is still productive when just playing a limited amount of games. It's crazy. He's a crazy talent. And the attitude that this man has, he, he, it's like he was cut from the same cloth of a Derek Jeter. Just that attitude, that a really good one. If he resides, he's the Yankee captain. So I get it. Why you don't want to re-sign him, but Aaron Judge has so many great qualities about him. And I know, I know, I realize he's a big boy. 6'7", we don't know how he's going to age. But he just came off of a 62. What happens if he goes to San Francisco, stays 100% healthy for the next five years, and puts up crazy numbers like he did this previous year? Maybe not to that extent. Are you going to say, oh, we should have re-signed Judge? You're the same people that want him to go. And let's just say the Yankees let Aaron Judge walk because it's too rich for their blood. Who the heck w would think that we would ever be saying that about the Yankees? But let's just say Aaron Judge were to go. Do you really have confidence in this ownership? They weren't willing to spend money on Judge, but do you think they're going to be willing to spend money on Trey Turner? Do you think they're going to be willing to spend money on Nimmo? I, I, come on. Like, we have to think about it that way, too. Uh, on Rodon, if we don't re-sign Judge, if they weren't going to invest that money in their own guy, do you really have the confidence in this ownership to go and spend money where we need it? I don't, I, I don't think I, I don't. Years ago, when Robbie Cano became a free agent, I believe we offered him a seven-year deal for $175 million, but he took the years from Seattle, 10 years, 240. And then what did we do? We went out, we got a catcher in McCann. We went out, we got Ellsbury. That Ellsbury contract, hindsight, is, was awful, horrible. McCann, he was okay, I liked him. But 
the Yankees, Hal Steinbrenner, could be looking at that Ellsbury contract and say, hmm, what if that were to happen to Trey Turner? What if? What if I was a millionaire? I know, I get it. It's silly to, to ask what if. But this is what goes through these business guys' minds. And he could be thinking the same thing about Aaron Judge. So I'm not sure what the heck is going to happen. I'm not sure if Judge is going to come back. But my answer, they should not let Aaron Judge go. They should retain Aaron Judge. Because if they don't retain Aaron Judge, I do not have confidence in this organization that they are going to spread that money around and fill in the holes where, we, where it needs filling. I really don't think that that will be the case. And there will be a lot of upset Yankee fans that we are sitting on that money. We would have the payroll. If we let Judge go and Rizzo go, I believe I saw it on Twitter. We would have a payroll, I believe, of $192 million. Imagine the New York Yankees, $192 million payroll. Back in 2004, we had a $200 million payroll. 2004! In my opinion, we got to re-sign Judge because I think it's not going to hurt us to sign other free agents. But then again, do I have that confidence in this ownership? Not really. And I don't have confidence if Judge were to go that we would go out and re and sign a Turner and sign Rodon, sign Benny, Nimmo. I don't have that kind of confidence in this ownership. I really don't. And if you look at past contracts, we signed Jason Giambi when he was 32 years old. I believe to, to a seven-year deal. Big money. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see what the heck happens. But in my opinion, Aaron Judge, the Yankees should not let Aaron Judge walk. So let me know what you think down in the comments, guys. We just launched channel memberships. The link to that will be down as a pinned comment. Also, I will be doing a raffle for just channel members, but in order for me to do that raffle, I need a little more of you to join up. So listen, if that's something you're into, do me a favor, check them out. So guys, listen, thank you so much for watching. This is Joan until next time, signing out. I would just like to thank Carmine Mattia, 30 Metal Brook, Michael Kane, and brand new channel member, Taz AKA Pedro for being supporters of the channel. Thank you so much, guys. It means a lot.